Well, here we are at Cleveland for the Cleveland Grand Prix. And this is a professional race event, unlike amateur race events. When you come to these events, it's all business and nothing but business. It's serious, it's intense, it's all about getting a podium position, it's all about winning, it's all about getting exposure for your sponsors, and it's all about work. 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 No time for play because this is professional racing. Welcome to Cleveland Grand Prix. And us guys from New York, we know dramatic, right? We're in trouble. It broke. Just as well we had to practice because the diff broke, the diff broke, and we broke a rocker in the, um, one of the roller rockers in the, um, in the motor. Basically from there, they just need to hoist it. They need to unbolt a few of the bolts that attach the motor to the chassis, uh, unbolt it from the gearbox, and then basically the motor just slides right out with the exception of a few oil lines. So the motor's back in the car right now, the car's going through tech. These pieces here are some of the broken pieces from the rear end that they also had to change. These are probably the two pieces that broke off. Uh, they had the rear end done first. It takes a lot quicker to change the rear end than to change the motor. It's so difficult to describe the emotions to people. You know, some people would say, well, wow, you came third and that was a great result for you. You should be ecstatic. And it's a funny thing. Yeah, we were happy it was a good result, but at the same time, gut-wrenching, I mean, you know, brokenhearted because we had a race there that we were good enough to win. And if it wasn't for a 
malfunction in the cool suit, which just overcooked him in the car, it's, it's safe to say it looked like we had our first win. I mean, we had the car to beat. It was so fast. That doesn't happen that often that a car is that much faster than everybody else. But we're here. We got to do it again. Our day will come. The team is good enough. The car is good enough. And certainly Joey's good enough. But very difficult to describe the emotions. It's beyond what people can imagine. Again, we got to see if lightning can strike three times. I think we got it bottled. Well, we were fast in Portland. We were fast, in, even faster in Cleveland. Now we got it here in Toronto. Now we got to see if we strike three times. And three times should be the charm because we gave a win away in Cleveland, and we're pretty annoyed about it. We're happy and we're annoyed. We're really masochistic. People who race are really crazy people. You would never have guessed that after we come third in a race, twice in a row, our first two times third place, that we could go home and be angry. That's how crazy people who race become. But anyway, stay tuned. Let's see what we're going to do this weekend. We do it all. Anything. Emerald's got nothing on us. Yeah. But here's the most important thing. These are men that used to are used to being at the racetrack, so you know what that means? They eat anything. The sharp looking car, who picked out the colors? You want me to be humble or you want me to take all the credit? I don't know. What do you think picked the colors? I did. That's brand new Corvette red and black. And it's just a combination that um, we thought worked nice on the car. It looks good. It doesn't look like a unsponsored car. It doesn't look like a $10 million sponsored car. It looks neat. It looks clean. It's professional looking. Stands up nice on the track. It looks good on the camera. You know, no big mystery to it. You guys start eating ice cream when uh, I got, I got some strings out like that? <laughs> I got some dry ice, too. We're going to pack some ice cream. And... All it is, we'll find some little uh, champ car girls and have them with the ice cream. And you're on the podium? On the podium. In the center of the podium. The center of the podium. The girl would eat it, give it a lick, and then have you take the rest of the fight. This is not that kind of a show. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Green flag, go, green flag. Not bad, not bad. We had a battery problem in the front half of the race. That's why we were falling back. And then little Joey there, in the caution there, he was able to reach over and he was just able to grab and switch over to the other battery. And that put us back in the hunt and that caution helped. And then he was hammering them. He was hammering them. Tommy blocked them like Tommy's supposed to do. But we were fast and we could have been third, but we got fourth. That was good. <laughs> 